Yes, indeed. Welcome back to the new improved Kitchen Talk. It is not a love show. It is not a cooking show. It is a show that we have real talk in the kitchen, man. Big shout out to my dog, Free Ricky. Till a Free Ricky. Shout out to Holla Marat. Okay, we'll take a green on today. Okay. <laughs> shout out to Georgie, my favorite time boy. And you already know who I am. It's your boy, man, over the lobby boy, the KOB. And we back. Big shout out to Fox Soul. What's happening? We got a guest on here today, and um, this is this this is a this is a guy that I've known for uh, a long time. I got a lot of respect for this guy. Everybody knows him. People know him about uh, different things. Peter Guns, Peter Hank, Peter Panky. Peter Panky. <laughs> Peter Panky. Peter Panky. Peter Panky. Peter Panky. Peter Panky. Peter Panky. I went through that my whole life, man. Really? Yeah. That's. It was hard. I was like, ma. So. We'll give you a little backdrop on that. My mother's last name is Tapscott. Right. So I was riding my mom's name. Right. You know the old school shit. Right. Mom's on welfare. She give me pop's name. They go after his check. It's keeping it real. So his the pop's name was Hanky Panky. My pop's name is James Panky. James Panky. Wow. So that's why when people see me on TV and they go like, no, that's Peter Tapscott. My pops eventually oh. said, no, nah, I want my son with my name and close the gym. But you know, wow. back in the days, mom was trying to hide you from Child support and all that. Yeah, wow. indeed. I, I feel like you was, you, was, you was being hidden, right? I was what? From child support? Was I being hidden from yeah. child support? No, okay. I had my father's Oh, okay, let's make sure. Yeah, no, I was I'm not. Okay, we we was hot. Sure. Ghetto flow. <laughs> well, uh, listen, round of applause for Peter Guns. Peter Guns. Uh, uh, well, let's go with Guns, man. Guns. I'm not that Every time I see hey, him, Peter Panky. <laughs> The, the, when I signed on to do cheaters, that was in the contract. We don't want you as guns. We want you as Panky. Peter Panky. I was wow. Uh, it was a it was a deal breaker. I was like, nah. Why? Man. He just wanted me to come on with a different image than I was with Love and Hip Hop. Right. You but let's go. Me? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go um, back. People know you from Love and Hip Hop, right? Yeah. You know that's where you kind of like rebranded yourself. But I know you from the hip hop. You know the hip hop world. You right. know um, as far as you know having a. A, a, a classic song, mm -hmm. Uptown Baby, yeah. Grammy nominated. You know what I mean? Let's talk a little bit about that. Shout out to uh, Lord Tariq because yeah. that was a joint effort with you and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in a group called Gun Runners, and um, it was like six of us. We was doing the Wu Tang thing right, right. even before Wu Tang. Right. And uh, my sister came and said, "Hey, my boyfriend rap. You want to get down?" So I was like, "Sorry, the two niggas. You can't." He came to the crib one day. He spit. I was like, he ain't. Lord Tariq. That was Lord Tariq. Yeah. So him and my sister are married, grown kids and everything. So to this day. your sister and Peter and Lord Tariq, and Lord Tariq are married. Oh, wow. And I met him being my sister. So people always be like, y'all broke up. What happened? But we got together, man. You know, Tariq did some stand-up shit, man. Tariq, I had just called a gun charge. Mm -hmm. I was on probation. And Tariq got signed to Interscope. My sister was like, yo, he on. He was hitting back like, yo, I'm on. And Interscope flew him into uh, L.A. Mm -hmm. and had him pin and stuff with Shaq. And he, and he told Shaq, yo, my brother-in-law is nasty with this. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I pin, but what you trying to do, he do it all. Because at that time, I was, like, doing, like, you know, I play instruments. I was on the, you know, right, party right, shit. Right, right, right. And he made Shaq and him fly me out, and the rest was history. So while I was out there, I started writing this song, Uptown Baby. Mm. And I went and played it for Tariq, like a little, you know, who I was working with. He was like, I gotta get on that. So I put him on. We had solo deals, but then we just merged. Wow. Yeah. So it was the Lobby Boys before the Lobby Boys. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so, the, you know, the song was just, for, yo, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie, Brooklyn was popping, Queens was popping, Harlem was up, Bronx was down. So it was one of those things where it's like, damn, we gotta do something to let them know. Where it started, well, I know. was from the Bronx, because all the hot niggas was from everywhere else. Uptown. So, we would go in the tunnel and niggas be like, Brooklyn, mm. we in Harlem, Harlem. So I said, yo, when I say if it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap shit probably never would Y'all go uptown, nigga, uptown. And yeah. Tariq said, remember that shit you said at the tunnel? Let's put that in the song. Oh, yeah. so you was doing shows like that. So right. Yo, you was right. like coming out. And you yeah, it wasn't meant to be a hit, it was just to pick up the Bronx. 24 well, bar verses about New York, <clears> the Bronx. <throat> the hook was 16 bars. It was just for fun. Well, and the yeah. shit just grew legs. Wow. Shout out to Sean Peck guys and, uh, and uh, wow. you know, Eric Beasley and the rest of them. Yeah, but Tariq felt like it was a hit. I just like nigga, it's That's a local, a, it's a local record. I didn't see, but that. It, it became more than it's a classic. It's a classic song. Yeah, it's, 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 it's turned out to be to this day. Yeah, yeah Tariq and them 
told me to do a version with every state, different cities, mm. and that took it to almost double platinum. You know, just, it's double platinum at this point, but it was platinum then. So it was, it was good, but it's, it's bittersweet. You know what I mean? It was, we came into the industry authentic. So we didn't, it wasn't, the, we didn't know the ropes. And then once we saw the real industry, we got like, you know, gunshot. And we put the album out, put the album out late, and then we just fell back. We should have just kept going. So most people only know us for that one record, but we got thousands. Of right, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like the Cross Bronx, the pun and all that. Mm -hmm. I, I listened to the album. My brother, I know you did, man. Right, you know, I'm a, I'm a hip hop, you know, Thank I'm a hip hop fan. Like I listen to the music, I listen to the words. So, you know, like, with the success of like Love and Hip Hop and reality TV, I feel like people may have forgotten your music journey. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's, well, what's crazy about that is even before rap, I played guitar, I played drums, I played keyboards. I'm a musician first, right. foremost. So people forgot about that. But it was a hard, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Hip hop started in my backyard, the cold right. press of the coast street. I idolized Grandmaster Cass. I named my son Cass after Cass. Easy AD is living across the street, go to school with my brother. So I watched it. You know, I was a little nigga, go to the store. Right. I idolized him. Right. So I started doing the rap thing. And then in the rap thing, I had an older brother, older brothers, one one in particular messing around with drugs, my instruments coming up missing. So like in the 80s, I went more towards rap due to due to crack, bro. You know, you know how most people and they go, yo, back in the 80s, they got those memories. Right. Like, at my house was ravished. Three of my old brothers, the older brothers was crack, crackheads. My cousin who I idolized on crack. So I didn't live that that side of the 80s that a lot of my friends lived. Mm. You know, they was getting it, you know. My friends was buying my shit, bringing it back to the crib. Wow. Mm. So, I didn't have that experience in the age of, like, you know, I would be a better musician if maybe my brother was doing, you know, my brothers wasn't. Mm. Especially, you know, one in particular. But it, it also, I never smoked weed, never sniffed coke, never did no nothing. No. I didn't start drinking until I was like 26 because wow. of that. Because mm. of my that. mother was like, yo, they started out like this and then what? And she used to shake me, don't fuck with nothing. So, but it also, it might have made me because all my friends start fucking shit, you know what mm. I mean? So, it's, it's bittersweet. I had to recently forgive my older brother. Yeah. I wanted to fucking, you know what I mean? I recently because went to him and said, not for you. He was doing. Yeah, it was an example. Like, you know how most people got to tell you? you I had that shit in the things. house. Right. Yeah. I watched these dudes drive my mother nuts. One in particular, too. So, I had a reason to never fuck with So, rap was all I did. And then... My cousin started bringing, it's like, I, I refused to sell crack when he cooked because of what he was doing with my family. Mm. My mom, like, you know, I can't go to school. My brother stole my coat, my shoes. Man. Wow. And he stole food out the refrigerator. It's not to eat. You know what I mean? So I refused to sell crack, but then my cousin started coming up from Virginia and I started doing the gun thing. Hence, oh, Peter Guns. My rap name was Pete Love. But then I got caught with the guns and you know they was like you can't be Pete Lover no more. Pete Lover, you was a smooth <laughs> cat from way back. Yeah, smooth cat. I was <laughs> always on that side of things. That's why if you go in the hood, they're like, oh Pete, we used to call him the hood prince. Michael, he used to play instruments and dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> but then he started getting, you know, shit, the baby on the way at 17. Mm. Life was life. So, so life started, life yeah. was life. Life was life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel like I made this the whole thing up. I, I'm the one that oh, came. Okay. I like that. Come on. Like, <laughs> the math they mathing and everybody. No, I, I, I don't think that they mathing. You got to really? stop. You got to stop. Yeah. I like all that the, thing right. is hanging. So, I like so okay. even like you, you mentioned that you, you basically experienced the, um, the industry. What yeah. was that like for you? It was rough. You when you make a song that's organically takes off. And the radio stations is just playing it organically, mm -hmm. begging you to come do shows and shit. Yo, could you come here and listen? I didn't know the side you gotta do drops, you gotta do this summer jams, you gotta do this and that on the arm. We came out the gate with a hit record that was organic, so we didn't know. So when the next single wasn't that, mm -hmm. and we had to go work it, we like, what? what? Mm. You gotta do the work to surround the record. Right. But then we start seeing that like a lot of people turn too. Right. And niggas didn't have that. That's, especially at that time, we was there was a lot of dudes around us. Tariq was out of sound. We had the sex, money, murder niggas around us everywhere we went. They was tearing shit up, or we just had a different mindset back then. You know, in hindsight, you know, 2020 is so much you would have done different. So you feel like 
you didn't get the y'all didn't get the love that you that y'all wanted because y'all didn't do the work surrounding y'all didn't do all the drive. You weren't ready for the. So let me let me say let me speak for myself because Tariq may have a different. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to ever say I spoke for him. We could have did better. Mm. We I'm speaking for me. I feel like if we would have just did what we were supposed to do, we could have right. nobody. For instance, I give you the biggest biggest example because not this won't work today because we live in a different time. Right. Back then, if you if you put out a hot record, people had to go buy the album in order to get that record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We took so long with the album, they had to put the single album on, on the CD and cassette. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to selling a million singles and cassettes, we could have sold a million albums. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. was going out, we just having 20,000 in his pocket. We just booked for shows. And the label would call me like, yo, y'all need to get in the studio, finish the album. I'm like, fuck that. We don't need all this money. Mm -hmm. Not thinking. Long term. You know, or shit, we got another one. That's the worst mistake. Don't ever feel like, oh, wait till they hear this next shit. It's not always. It's not guaranteed. So, so I personally, Tariq may have a different opinion because I said it in an interview before and I don't think he agreed with it. So I don't, he's right. I shouldn't speak for him. Indeed. And for myself, I got to take a lot of blame for that. So, Look, question. No, so yeah, from then to when you kind of like resurfaced with like all the hip -hop, love and hip hop stuff and everything, like what was your life like? What was your mental like? Like that does something Shit. to someone. Love and hip hop. Is, I'm glad you asked that. Shit gets real. Well, I was fucked up. Yeah. Things was hard, but I had a son, Corey. He right. Shut yeah. up, Corey. Man. So as we trying to shop him, love and hip hop, or these reality shows, we had a show called Son of a Gun on TV. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to do these shows because I ultimately know whatever I do is going to be reflected on him. But hold on, but did you feel like you still wanted to pursue your rap career? Absolutely. I felt so you like had never that. gave up on that? Nah, man, yo, I got thousands of songs. I still, you know, I'm working on the album with CL Smooth right now. Mm -hmm. I'm called The R Couple. I never stopped doing music. Music is, I would do music if nobody ever heard mm -hmm. I'm still in the house no, playing my too. instruments and making music. I always, it's just, it's like leisure. It's like people go play ball. I'm a musician. It's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. So yes, and I will always do music. But reality TV, I fell back on that because my son was on his way. And I'm like, I don't want to step on him. Mm -hmm. But I would go to Corey and be like, Corey, you got to go, man, because this shit is rough over here. Because what me and Corey got is a handshake. I'm not making no money off my son. I put him with managers and stuff. But I do what I got to do in the background. You know, when we're mm -hmm. doing his mixtapes and stuff. So finally got signed. And then he got stagnant and he caught a gun charge and all type of shit. So finally I greenlit loving hip hop. Cause I, but I knew that when I did it, I didn't know it was gonna spiral this crazy. Right? <laughs> but I knew when I did it, it was gonna affect Corey. I didn't know it was gonna affect my affect my whole family. Like, like when I got on the show and started, it was like, fuck y'all, I gotta get this money, I gotta do what I gotta do. Not thinking my kids was gonna go to school and get fucked with it. My family got to go to work and explain. My so, sister used to call me like, nigga, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I got to go to work tomorrow. What are you doing? You regret all the answers? So, hold on. You didn't, know, you didn't know your story? No, I knew my story. You didn't know your I story? I was only thinking about me, is what I'm trying to say. He was being so. But you knew that you had two women. Yeah. <laughs> you knew that you was going on the show with two women. With two women. That, so that's what makes me mad. You knew that you was <laughs> laughing. But mad. no, but listen, this is what makes me mad at the world. They not, they don't they brain. I knew. I'm going to get busted. You know this. You I knew it was busted. coming in. The whole time. But why would I put it on TV if I didn't know that? Like, they not going to see you. They family not going to see you. You know, like, right. right. So it's like, fuck it. We go, it's going to go down. Here's the deal. One of the biggest things I regret in life, I say that, you know, this, this, I have like five things, but two of the biggest things is when that record hit, I didn't buy my moms and pops and get them right first. I got me right first. I always regret that. Always, to the day I die, my father died before I could right. buy him the car he wanted. Right. That's one. Two is bringing time on love and hip hop and not telling him I was married. That shit to this day is an Slow, yeah. Slow, yeah. Slow, yeah. Slow, Slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Yeah. Slow up because you, you, you hit me. You hit me hard right there. Yeah. Both that, statements. That, yeah, you hit Both me statements. Yeah, this is because I felt you. It almost makes me cry. Bro. Yeah, well, we don't want to do that. Nah, I'm not going to do it. You don't let one go. Let it go. It's all right. Yeah. You hit me with that with that one. You know? Because as an artist you wanna do so much. Yeah. Right? I know what it feel like you wanna take care of everybody because we sit back and we have those dreams, we be like, yo, when I get on, everybody good. Yeah. And then when we get on, things happen so fast, 
we we not always making the right decisions. We're not always making the right choices, and and then sometimes we just can't. Right. It may look better than what it actually is on right. the inside. Right. So I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. Deep. Yeah. Right. Now the thing about Tara, you you was with your she was your uh your kid's mother. Yeah. But she was already married. No, I got married while we was together. Hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, so none of that crossed your mind when you came on the show? Like, I just feel like you knew that she didn't know. Oh, we'll get to that. Wait, okay. you got married while y'all were together. Yeah. That's a lot. So, <laughs> I think I might try that. No, no, Shut no. Shut no. up. So, so, so let's, let's put it in perspective now. I guess it's, it's you know, so it's, it's, they say you get in trouble, but I'm okay, let's do it. I mean, it's from Germany. Right. She was over here. If you could just bring right, me up to I got you, I got you, I got you. So, I'm working with all music and stuff, and she, you know, hey, maybe if we, could, I could be here. And we right. messing around. Right. Nobody got to know. When I do love and hip hop, I tell them. I don't want to put nobody's name out there because I don't want to, you know, go through the whole whatever. Listen, I'm going to give y'all something straight up. I did this for certain reasons, and it can't come out because it make me look crazy and it make me fuck up. Mm -hmm. The first day we shot, they took our phones. I told Amina for two months straight, don't say nothing. Somebody was whispering her ear. Peter said, sorry, let it go. And she tell Rich, that's my husband. We married. Oh, wow. That's how I came out to you. Oh, wow. Yeah, so once it came out, it's there now. But you can't go back and be like, oh, I just did that. To, to, to. Right. And now you in. Right. And shit. And now that's not, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, degrade Amina either. Right. You know, right. It's crazy about Amina. We was dope. We was meshing on some some right. musicianship. Right. Mm -hmm. She played the piano on the guitar. Played piano. She was, we writing songs every day, doing things, and we just mm -hmm. it meshed. Every day life at home wasn't right. I wasn't bringing in no money. Top was doing all the work. I didn't feel like at home. I was just that fucking felt uh -huh. like a dead. With me, I felt like a star again. Like, really? you know, yeah, yeah, at that time. At that time. But real man shit was like, off the camera. Man. Yeah. No, this is real life. Yeah. yeah. So, but when the cameras came on, they was catching. The thing about my story, you watch the show, that's why a lot of people, that shit's trash, it's not real. My story, what you saw is what it was. It had, they added a few little bells and whistles, but for the most part, what you saw is what it was. And that's why most people either hated me, hated right. my story, whatever, because it was really felt it. But, but in real life, you could have let Tara like in on it before she found out. On you know it was crazy. Yeah, I should have. But it was, imagine this. Hey, before we do shit, real she quick, was, she ain't gonna walk in the park. She was stabbing her. You know, because I remember when she, I remember she found out and hit Amina, and they called me. She found out. Well, you thought she when was Amina told her. her. No, so I knew she would find out. But I'm like, you know, how you prepping? I gotta tell her this shit for this happened. Right. The show got to. Her to that story before I could. And they were happy because that, what you saw right. was- You should have got to the story about. before the show. I know, but I didn't. <laughs> it's a, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling but like, that's neither here nor there. I, 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 I was a coward. I was scared and, and honestly speaking, that's why I tell you to this day, it's probably the biggest thing I, it's one of the biggest things I regret in life. Cause yeah, just if you reverse it, somebody had done that to my sister, my daughter, Tyra's father don't speak to me to this day. Mm. Yeah, that's your real life. Right? My mom's is cool and the brothers is cool cause they like, yo, shit happens, I've done shit. But the pops is like, fuck you. That's my daughter. You yeah. know what I mean? And I understand it. Yeah. It was mine. You know what I mean? That's why when my oldest daughter come to me and want me to talk to her boyfriend, he doing. I'm like, that nigga gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you? What's your son? <laughs> Capricorn. Oh, well, me too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's that's, that's interesting. Yeah. It's 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 just all type of, you know, but it's real life, and that's why people were able to. But all that kind of became so, like your brand. Then you got on Cheaters as the host. So yeah. before, before, before that, we were speaking to, to fact, right? <laughs> okay. The thing, the thing about that is, is that, right? You, you was known as a rapper, with Peter Guns, and now here it is. Now you in front of this camera, and now you are being looked at as maybe a villain. Oh, beyond that, bro. It was beyond that. I mean, you, I had family members that I had to even check because they was like, what the. You know what I mean? Because they love Tara. Right. Or people that love Amina. It was bad. How could you do that? And so one day I had to look in the mirror. You know, one of my kids called me. I had a problem at school. Somebody was saying something about me. 
My daughter got into a fight at Applebee's and all types of shit. And when you signed on to do it, I wasn't thinking about nothing, but I'm going to get this money. Right. She going to do her music. She going to be seen. Tara's an actor. She's beautiful. They're more talented than anybody else on the shit. And so this going to work out for all of us at the end. Right. Wasn't really thinking about the, the consequences. The ramifications of the fact that it was going to affect the kids. And it's a spiral. You right. trying to catch it. If you ain't an executive producer and you don't control the story, don't try, don't ever think you can control it nothing. But you, but it kind of kept going because you yeah, kind of stayed serious. with both of them. Like you kind of was right. Like, I mean, the cat was out of the bag at that point. Right. Well, it, it, that's, that's part of it. And then I'm just keep it real with you. You out of here if you where you gonna go from there? You trying to keep the shit going because at this point in time they like over it. What the show or the the girls? Oh, the show. Mm -hmm. And I mean they over at this point in time they over it too. But it's like it's all of us trying to like figure it out. Like, how do I go and I already look crazy and this and that, but we still love him and I still love him. It's a, it's a crazy right. spiral. It's a crazy spiral. Like, the best thing would have been to be like, yo, let's just stop. But you, you can't, you couldn't stop. Right. Because for one, right, did you, like, it was a it was a way of making a living. That's the main thing. That was the let's main start thing. there. I think that it, they could have stopped, they just didn't think of the next step. That's how I feel. Because at the I end of the day, you stop if you feel like you, this, you need to make I just said you couldn't think of the next step. That's there really thing. was no next step. Nah. It was only that. Because, unfortunately, what I did to him, which is another thing that's hard, like, they stupid. Dumb, dumb, mm -hmm. chasing after this nigga. Is stupid. Because where are they going from there? Who's, who's, who's going to pick them up from their brain? Man. So, this is where we are. It's, it's a, yo, let me tell y'all something. I will never be able to explain. I tried. I was gonna do a book called Love, Lies, and Hip Hop. But even as you try to explain it, because you can't, I can't blame nobody. It's me. Right. I did this. I can't. People be like, oh, Mona made Mona didn't do nothing. Mona didn't make me. She put no gun to my head. Mm. So when people come and say, oh, they did this, no, nigga, you know what it is. And you just gotta figure out your way. Like if you go to the show and you're like, I want more money, I want this. One time I told Mona, I want, I need, I'm gonna need this and need that. She said, guns, this is my bag. You out there now, you back on the platform, go get your bag. Mm -hmm. I couldn't argue with that. Mm -hmm. And I get mad at people that come and be like grown people. Mona and Mona, Mona didn't do that, bro. Right. We signed on. This signed is on. What, this is what this is. You, yeah. Just like you said, you knew what your story was. And you yeah. knew at some point it was going to come up. Yeah, and they trying to do a story. And they trying to make the shit how they going to make it, whatever it is. Now, whether you agree with it or not. Right. You know, it, they got control of what happens. And Ed and I, I felt this much. I already look crazy. I didn't need no help, and they help sometimes. Well, I feel like this about that reality, shit was about reality TV. I feel like their loyalty is not to you. It's not to make you look good. It's to have a good storyline for their show. The ratings. Ratings. So, mm, yeah. so yeah. if if that comes with you looking weak or looking stupid or yeah. looking like a punching bag, yeah. whatever it is, it's at your expense. So it's for the ratings. Right. So it ain't for you. And then, and then the other part of that is if you know that's what's, if you know that's what can happen or you know that it's gonna happen, it's up to you to buy us. I'm not doing that. So and, you, and I'm sure also in the back of your head, like once it was all out, you were like, well, maybe all this could kind of work out. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, I started, I started running into people that that I respect. I was like, yo, my man. Like I heard people that respect me or people that love me. I would run into people in the hood or people I grew up with and be like, yo, my man, I hope you got an end game to this. Mm -hmm. um, Minister Farrakhan, who I love and idolized my whole life, I went to see him at the state building. It's me and his son, we'll see his cool movie. He was just like, listen, you there now. What do you do to flip it? Mm -hmm. Flip it. Enough okay. is enough. Mm -hmm. Flip it. And I was at the state building years ago, and I was I left the building like a like like a child, like my pops right. screamed at me, like enough is enough, bro. So because you know, like people people had a a vision of you, a perspective of you, right? Because of the music, Peter Guns, right? And then you got this son, uh, Corey Guns, who was like right. the, the, this, this this MC that's just so nice, yeah, phenomenal. Everybody loves him. Um, he's, he's part of Lil Wayne's camp. It's it's just it's the rebirth of you, so to speak. And then, it was hard on him too, man. Right. Honestly. Really? Yeah. He was doing interviews and all the questions would be about me and me and Tara. Wow. He's trying to promote himself. 
Right. And uh, but he's so humble and so dope. You gotta remember, Corey's mom was a nigga. I raised really, me and my mother raised Corey. Mm. Mom's, you know, we was young. She and um, but he would never turn on me. Ever mm. in the minute you couldn't get him. You couldn't get him in an interview to say nothing. And then one, you know, one day we had a talk, and he told me how he felt. So he would never say it publicly. I, how do you feel? Just, just disappointed, mm. you know, and uh, but he would never all the way go all the way hard in on it. But he just like let me know, like man, it's hard. That's hard to watch, Dad. You're so much better than that. And to hear people talk down on you, and I know who you really are as a mm. person and who you are as a musician. How much more talented you are than people to watch them call you trash and garbage. Mm. You know, just like any son, that's the only that, that hurt him. But I was telling him, that shit don't bother me. It bothers me that it bothers you. It affects the family, and I didn't think that part of it through. Did you think, like, at any point when you got married and you were withholding it from Tyra, did you even think, like, if she found this out, she would be super hurt? Yo, let me tell you something. Yeah. But here's the, here, I'm leaving out some shit. But we here now. We with my man right here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, I mean, I had a box of money. Big box of money. And I was digging in that shit. What you mean? She came here. She was working, saving her money, doing all type of shit. She had a box of money, like 20 grand in the cash. She was like, yo, whenever you need something, just get it. So we working. I'm like, shit, I need it. I got to take care of this. Take care of that. And one day she called and said, hey, uh, I've been looking in the box a little low. I'm, I'm trying to do this through that. We need that back. Mm. So if you could read in between the lines, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So how long we got to stay married? If, if we was to divorce, you know, how long, we, you know, things, if we did do that in our two years. I was like, two years? I ain't married. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. But that's really... Given this information, I feel like I could give it now, but that's really not to even be little, because me and I have two daughters now. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be little how I feel about her. Mm -hmm. But just the marriage thing. It was a good act. Understood. Yeah. Understood. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. two years, then <laughs> in a couple months, Love of Hip Hop came knocking. Oh shit, I just got married. I can't, they can't use that. You know? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like we was on the show and I went. I had the show come, I probably wouldn't have. But what made, what, what made them come knocking? Did they, did they hear about what was going on? Ah, uh, Rich Dollars had a, uh, <laughs> Rich Dollars had a scene and he wanted me to come in, which is a whole nother story, man. He played a, a Erica Minute record. I was like, oh, that ain't it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Erica went in. And so <laughs> people loved the scene so much. They was like, what's your story? Yo, what's his story? And who's his girl? So they went in and looked on Facebook at the time. That's what it was on. Mm -hmm. Saw Mina and Tara and saw Mina and yeah, Tara's beautiful and Mina they playing instruments. Oh, this, he mapped children in that. So they put no two brainer. together on their own? No brainer. Yeah, they wow. was a no brainer for that shit to be But after I'll that, give you an example. They was on they was going on strike. All the cast wanted more money. Really? They were going on strike. But once they started filming me and Mina and Tara, they was like, I can stay on strike. <laughs> Did, Our storyline was that crazy. Was. We were shooting six to seven episodes before they was even shooting. They was notorious for giving those uh, slave wages yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had one. I ain't even gonna hold you. This shit, this was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, it still, even at the end of it, it wasn't nowhere near what we, you gotta remember when these commercials run, you see in McDonald's, Staples, all these big companies, they was getting bread. Niggas wasn't right. seeing that. Right. But I told you when they have that sit down, you get a reality check. This is my bag. Go get your This is a platform when, for you. When you, <laughs> when you, when you, when you, um, when, when everything came out, y'all was like still living in the same building though. Right? Was that true? Yeah. It's oh no. Living so in one building. Here's the crazy shit. Child. Uh, they offered, no, they offered me and we was living somewhere else. That was the second season. But okay. mm -hmm. they offered me to live in a, a, a nice building and yo, you want to get this car? And I was like, nah, be. I want to show exactly what the fuck it is. Which is, I learned later on that everybody else be doing this faking and shit, and here I am being real, like a dumbass, and everybody else is doing TV. Keeping it too real. I kept it too real. <laughs> Keeping it real goes wrong. Keeping it, keep it real goes wrong. Shit, <laughs> nigga, like, 
Damn. Taking them in the basement apartment we live in. I'm yeah. running around playing with the kids. They film. We in the yard playing. Say, we, yeah. film. we start filming. They go, look at this nigga, dirty feet. I'm <laughs> running around. <laughs> I remember the feet. I remember the feet. <laughs> Let me so, tell you a funny story. So I'm running around with the kids in the yard. They ready to film. And I'm like, all right, let me just. And then they just feel like, fucking film. Feet wow. filthy. Take the shit. Get in the shower. <laughs> they, they show me right. getting the shower out there, but they don't like see that. You was outside this, I did a show recently. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let me tell y'all a true story. I'm gonna get y'all the first to hear this. <laughs> Walking around, playing by the pool, the whole show. We come to do the scene. I'm up like this, and then after we shoot the scene, I, I go, Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Damn. So your hair goes, they're gonna memes all Damn. over again. Damn. Run around, cause they they rented a mansion out in Kentucky for for a month while we filmed the show. What show was that? It's called After Happily Ever After. So I got all these exes. Mm. We got my man Jeremy Meeks from uh, you know they call him the Jail Bay. Oh yeah, they come We we our exes looking for us a new wife. Really? So yeah. some guys looking yeah, for Yeah, exes is looking for a new wife for you. Yeah, one of my meanest fine trying to find me a new girl. I mean, that's but here's the, no, here's the flip side. I gotta find Tyra and Nick. Oh, it's wow. rough, boy. I can watch it's that. probably the it's Did probably show up. It's it's uh, October nineteenth uh, at at uh, ten p.m. on BET. <laughs> so yeah, BET. Ten now we need to hear them. Nah, so how it still was it was still rough watching. No, I that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like as a, even as an ex, I know how men can be. Where you'll see, like, you'll <laughs> see. Tune in. I I I, 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 I couldn't take. I cracked. <laughs> yeah, nigga was nigga was getting too comfortable. Really? <laughs> and there's no doubt that you loved her. Like I could see it. Yeah, and so that's 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 part. I don't want to mess the story up. That goes a little left because the dude was getting a little too comfortable. And I picked him. Mm. You picked him, but you <laughs> you ain't think. Listen, you supposed to pick a nigga shit right? Right. No. <laughs> That's what I did. And go to be too real. And go to be too real. You want to see this shit right here? When you see this shit, you're like, that's exactly what I did, and the shit backfired. <laughs> this nigga was a calculus nigga. He got a calculus and all that. Oh. <laughs> without, without a calculator. <laughs> I know she ain't never gonna like this nigga. And she's like, I'm into it. Holy shit, this nigga yeah. teaching her all type of shit. Wow. If you diverse your diversity. <laughs> And she like this all day. He's diverse in her diversity. I said, she like oh, this. shit. What's going on? Math is math. Math is math. Math was math. <laughs> math, was math. <laughs> Algorithms and everything. And hold on. The hate was hating. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, are y'all all good now though? Like, yeah, man. Let me tell you something, man. You know, I, I, uh, best mothers you could ever have in your life. I have six baby moms. Well, my Corey mom, I, you know, she, she, I love you, I love you, Tracy, yeah. hopefully you're all right. Well. But yeah, all beautiful, all dope, and all of my kids are perfect, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm the fuck up around here, but yeah, man, since we all get along, everybody's fine. People, I need child support, I've never been on child support, never in my life, never in court. No. How, did, how did all your baby mothers feel about? Ten kids, all, all five ten. girls, five boys. We're going to say how to love his kids. We can't say baby mother. I Ten. Like this kid. That's more respectful. I know I like a lot five of and five, baby. Five beautiful guys. Be- big beautiful family guy. How did they feel? Like. When the, when the when the show was just oh disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Is Corey your oldest? Because again, remember I told you my kid, my kids still had to go to school and go, you know, and their mothers had to go to work and they and you know what I you know I have kids mothers that's a lawyer, one you know president of the Urban League and. You know, in New Orleans, I have, uh, you know, everybody. They're like, keep our faces out of it. They do, they, yeah. <laughs> but too late. Y'all already, already associated. All the kids got my name. People know I'm like, so it's like, what are you? Mm. I think this is a good doing? example because of what? of what you do affects other people. And I think that a lot of men don't think about that when they do certain things. It's like, what you do will affect everybody break around you. I just broke it. No, down. don't break it. Meaning, like, if you go out and you step out, just say, you step out. He had a secret. And that was a big secret, even though to him, he rationalized it as if, you know, I'm just doing this for this situation, but not really thinking about how, if this situation came out, how could it affect other people? And not even if it came out, because 
yeah, you did it for whatever you did it for, but what if Amina needed certain things because of it? Like, you know what I mean? And now you got yeah. you got to spread yourself thin, and now that affects your family. And now, yeah. so either way, it was gonna get out, and but it got out in a in a way that affected not only the people involved, but the other people, like my other family. Like Absolutely. you said, people coming to him, friends coming to him, aunts mm-hmm. coming to Absolutely. him, parents coming. You're not to him. thinking people like really that. Know so, so, not so, about the so what picture. it is is when when things is, when things is rough. Mm-hmm. It was bad for me. Mm-hmm. It was either go back to the streets. And it's five years for me starting anything. I, I start at five. It's a lose-lose. I could, get, I could get more, but not less. Anything I do now is five, start. That's, mm-hmm. that's it's on my shit. So you so, in survival mode. But. So yeah, so if I could do this TV shit, it don't put me in jail. It don't do it. Don't do, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking like that. But one thing that you write about is the cycle. And mm-hmm. the cycle, again, is, is my, my dad was engaged to a woman while he's married my mother. My dad yeah. had different women. Mm-hmm. So Corey, let's go to me. Right. I said, Corey, man, you don't want to get no tattoos. I would grab the tattoo. I tatted up. Right. Corey, this rap shit is rough, man. Don't pull all your mamas in the rap shit. Do something else. You rap. Mm-hmm. Corey, you don't want to get caught with a gun. It's three to nine. So get caught with a gun. So what we're doing as black men, instead of leading, leading examples to make them be like us, mm-hmm. We just using the old shit my father said. Don't be like me, boy. You want it? Mm-hmm. No. You got to set an example so they can be just like Because they mm-hmm. idolize us. Mm-hmm. So this cycling shit keeps happening. So you're doing crazy. dumb shit. So in, in terms of doing the show, it was really the only reason I'm comfortable in my skin. Because people are like, do you regret it? I didn't go in there with malice. I went in there because I was fucked up. And I felt like this could help me provide for the kids. She could get her look on some music, her mm-hmm. acting, this could help us all. It was no malice when I signed on. Otherwise, if I went in there, we're like, fuck, I'm gonna look like the man. Right. You didn't go on That's there. not, that wasn't my, support. that was not my right. mindset. You didn't go on there with those intentions. Not at all. Survival, like, you not know. And then, you know, not, not enough is, is said about, you know, being an artist and not being able to maintain, you know, the glitz and the glamour, the lifestyle. So you was at a point where you, you years past, the hit records. Bro, high school dropout, mm. felon, not even qualified to get a job at Starbucks. So mm. how do you do that? And then mentally, how do you do that after you was already a star? Right. Mm-hmm. But so now, loving hip hop, which is on TV, is looking like, man, I could do that. Right. Right. And you, and again, I, you know, people say, yo, you sold your soul. No, I didn't. I went in there with all good intentions. Put that on all my kids, my mother, my mother's heart right now. There was no ill intent towards either one of them or nothing. It was all done with, you know, and the shit just spiraled. So, Peter, you know do you that? regret doing it? Right. I can't say yet. But you think you did more good than bad, at least? I don't know yet. I'll tell you what, here's, here's this question though. So, but at some point. Yet. Still, is that still, that's still out there. I don't know. I, some days I wake up and go, what the fuck? And then some days. What would I be doing if I didn't? Do it? If you didn't do it, now so here, at some point I feel like you you owned it, right? I feel like you you like you grabbed it and said fuck it, you know? They they look at me as a as a uh, as a bad guy, as a villain. You know what? I'm part of this creep squad, right? Because the creep squad, <laughs> <is> <laughs> you, I hate the creep squad. You owned it, <laughs> you owned it at that point. Yeah, right? you know what's wrong with the creep squad was funny because <laughs> it's like we all they kept it. saying the word creep. And Yandy and Rich creep, 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 creep. Y'all creeps, y'all creeps. So right. I said, creep squad. Yeah, fuck it. But I always looked at creep squad as we just creeping around, fucking with different girls. Most men, like. Y'all was outside. Right. But this is the crazy shit. I get mad at women that come to me in the streets and say, oh, y'all the worst. Love your mantle. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I ain't never met a nigga that didn't cheat. I'm not saying he don't exist. Not yeah. oh, oh, I'm not saying, hold oh, on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I'm, not like, saying, oh, I'm not saying he don't exist. <laughs> I'm not arguing that. I'm not saying he don't exist. Not that conversation. I, I'm saying I ain't never met him. Uh-huh. I'm only speaking for myself. Because you hang out with the Crip Squad. I hang out with all types of people. They just better than me. They not on TV. Mm. Mm. They not out in the public eye. Ah, mm. I'm just saying, you know, like I've sat down with people that I thought was that for advice. Like, bro, how do you do it? I keep my one little thing and she understand. Mm-hmm. I take care of her and I mean people y'all know, prestigious people. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's I'm not saying that by no means you can't put everybody in a blanket and stay in the same And I also say that at some point you if you did do it, you might come down and be like, yo, I'm not doing that no more. But to say I don't know nobody that never cheated, I I ain't never met nobody that 
Mm. Never cheated. Not on me. I have such a different opinion. What's your opinion? Now what's, 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 what's your opinion? Love? Don't love me. <laughs> no, I just feel like people put it on a pedestal and they put it on such a a a high pedestal that there's so many other things that you can worry about in a relationship besides cheating. I'm not so you, saying you, I'm not an advocate. It, it depends on how it's done. You can I, I don't I can't do a habitual cheater. No. A habitual cheater. I've never been faithful like, I can't ever do a in my habitual life. Habitual cheater. Are you, are you are you faithful now? I'm doing a lot better. I mean, that's what I'm holding like polyamorous. Would you call yourself polyamorous? You know what's crazy? Jeremy is that. Jeremy Meeks, the dude I did the show with. He's out and out with that on the show. Damn, I gave it away. Fuck it. He, uh, he <laughs> turned around. I am, I'm not that because I'm going to tell you why. Everybody doesn't know. I can't mm. take what I dish out. Mm. She can't do it. Mm-mm-mm. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm just keep Look at his face. I can up. only be honest. I know you, brother. He's like, I can only be preach. Honest. <laughs> preach. I Look, can't take talk to him, man. Please, just this is. Chat was on the show, so me and one of the girls show. got into it. She <laughs> said, "So you say it, mindsies is mindsies." Because mm-hmm. Jeremy, we had a situation where one of the girls I like was eyeing Jeremy, and I'm like. If you like, it, no guns, we can all be different. No, <laughs> <isn't>. <laughs> that's mine. These is mine. Is she is if mine. she like you, her, her, and her is mine. So she, no, just one. Just, just one. get one. But Jeremy, he let it be known he need more than one. And she was. And Jeremy is a smooth operator. This nigga eyes turn the color of whatever shirt he got on. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't even human. So I'm like, yo, bro, I understand how you give it up. I don't give it up like that. She can go over there. I got to go find somebody else. You know, in the next mix, I'm going to get me somebody else. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, I like you, but you're not giving me the attention. No, once you start eyeing somebody else, love, right. go that way. Right. So that was what Tara and Amina were saying, but you could do it. Like Amina and them, they side with right. the women. Like, yo, bro, you, you back on your bullshit. I can't have my lady. I just gonna sound like so, so, so it, I can't deal with my lady can't fuck nobody else. Why? No, 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 it's alright. It. This is your show. This is your show. I can't do it. Say it. Say it. But why? Because mine's is mine's. He just said it. But mine's is I think just but, said it. But what about or just the This what I this what I will admit. I'll admit this. It's the same hurt. The same way I hurt. You it's can. the same way you hurt if I cheat on you. It's the so exact same way. So you're saying you know it's wrong though. Definitely. I, I, know, I hate it. Help it so, cause dudes that say it's different. No, it's the same hurt, my nigga. She hurt the same way you hurt. Right. So the problem. But when you is, do it, it's like oops. No, it's not oops. It's just like God. Yeah, you know, I, you know, like, I this is me. This is you know, I got a problem. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, so I'm out of disease. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Well, that's no. Just the way no. Right. That's the you one. You get older. This is the that's problem. You get is. older, and you and you you know that's. That's one of the things Tyra said, nigga, you getting old, your knees hurting, cracking. Knees hurting. And now you want to do the right thing too late. Like, mm-hmm. like, you wasn't thinking like that before. Mm-hmm. So, look, man, I don't have the answers. <laughs> but I just know that I'm not, I'm never going to be cool with my lady doing it. If, if, she, if you want to go out and do that, I Why you just that. didn't make a choice and say, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to be with either Tyra or I'm going to be with Amina and just stick with that? Because they, yo man, this again may know y'all, y'all may, y'all may not be able to relate aspects. to this. No, it was it was definitely that part of it. They both different. The music mm-hmm. thing over here, but the family thing over here was different. This is the true story. Like, honestly speaking, when the spiral down the control on TV, one day they bashing Tara and one day they bashing Mina, and I mm-hmm. felt like I didn't want to abandon either one of them. Like it was the craziest shit. I would never be able to explain because people gonna be like, he just trying to explain his way out of it. But when the world found out I was married with Amina after they saw me with Tyra and the kids, they went eight shit on her and Mm -hmm. she was just like a damn. So I'm like, nah, y'all not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you better bring your ass home to your family. Hold on, I'll be here just because they are killing her. She literally was going through it. So then Tyra became the stupid one. You know, this nigga's married and and he married this girl. You still sticking around. So now I'm over there with Tyra. You know what I mean? So it was it's it's hard to explain. I would never be able to explain it. But I was literally like You felt like this shit spiraled out. It's, to both yeah, and it spiraled out of control. When I should have did exactly it, in hindsight, should have picked the side and just figured it out. And, or say I'm not doing this shit no more. Yeah, left the most. Was it guilt? Um 
little bit of guilt, but mostly love. I pass a lot of detective tests that I love both of them, but they didn't show that on the show. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff they didn't show on the show. But these are the things I'm mad at them about. If you do something where Peter Guns is showing how he go to Rikers Island and talk to the kids about the guns. But that's not that. Nobody cares. But though. but they do it. They film it to pacify you. Right, that's what they do. They right. film your music looks to pacify right. you. Yeah, never yeah, shown. Right. That's, that's so you just look. Right, but I tell so you. So I tell people time. I play instruments. No, they like, you they don't know that. Yeah, they don't I play on the yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. They didn't show. I tell people going on, 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 on the show is understand that you just, you're going on a show. Yeah. Music is music. Right. TV is TV. They may not co correlate just because, you know, somebody watches you on TV and they know you from TV doesn't make them a fan of your music. Right. You know, in reality TV, like the love of hip hop, they say, oh, you know, you can come on here and show your music and all that, but they, that's not really what they're looking for. Nah, they're looking for, they looking for some contention, they're looking for some action, they're Absolutely. looking for some drama. But you did it right. I'm, I mean, from the first season I went on it, uh, I saw you and I was like, yo, they asked so much. I'm like, doing that. They got yeah. they, they bag ain't right and they got to do it the way I want. Oh no, they don't like me. You always like, told me that. They told me I'm robbed, them. They told me I'm robbed, them. But listen, they told me I'm robbed because so I did one season and I and I did a total of eight episodes. And by the time I got on there, yeah. I, I had, I guess, um, I had like a a bargaining power. Maybe because yeah, they yeah. wanted me for so long. Right. They know I had a lot of action with a couple of young ladies. Right. right? And and they wanted that. Right? But I was like, I don't have no girl and you know what I mean? What, what type of money y'all talking about? Right. And they would be like, well, you know, listen, I ain't Jay-Z, but I got a belly and I rose voice yeah, in front yeah. of my house right now. Shut up. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. I was talking crazy, right? right? So by the time that they came. And I had I was in a relationship and it was a real thing and my idea was to get her on there and promote her, her store. She had a hair store. Right. So what, that was what I wanted to do. But I didn't I, I took it to all the meetings I wasn't going on. Right. Mona said to me, they're not gonna do you, they're not gonna do her without you, so what you gonna do? So I said, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her an outrageous number. Mm -hmm. I want that. She said, all right, we'll see. So she came back, she said, I almost got that. Let me see. Nah, I ain't doing it. I'm bluffing though. Right. I'm like, they, they ain't never gonna do this. They're not right. gonna do that. They, right. This I've never been on. They ain't gonna do that. Right. She said, I got it. Mm. I said, word? I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go on. Like, right. I might have to go on, but I don't think that they um they they really liked the way I was so controlling like oh, I was so like but you did it right like, yeah did because right. for me I kept I was like I wanted like you're not gonna have up with the, with the corny chicks they're gonna have over yeah. here you're not gonna have me with this you gonna do this yeah. who, who, who filming who, who over there now nah, I'm gonna film with them like I yeah. was trying to be so that's why I wasn't in all the episodes gotcha so you felt like it was your bad I was, that was I, what he said yeah. yeah I was trying to micromanage it because right. what was important to me was, was, was to me to be able to walk away from it and not be as damaged. I didn't want to damage the brand. They yeah. already they you did it right. Rise. You, did you know it right. what I mean? In this business, you did it right. When I went to Motor House and she told me, "I don't watch the show. My kids don't watch the show." I said, "Oh, this is just business." Oh, you yes. so shot all the episodes. Never, never promoted it. Never told nobody to watch it. When I'm, when I'm on my music tour, never talked about it. Mm. It's just business. It's, it's just a, another business deal. If you're in the TV and you're watching that, cool. If you're not, we over here. Right. Good for you, bro. So that's, that's how you should. That's you know yeah. hindsight shit. You know I'm busting rhymes. He don't do it. Right. Out the don't gate, he knew. I, he knew I went to him and he was like, "Don't do it." Sway, yo, what you doing? Mm. But niggas, you know, it's easy when niggas just don't understand the situation. <laughs> When yeah. you go to the ATM and that shit, mm -hmm. put a receipt out that say, get the fuck out of here. Kids <laughs> 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 don't understand that. So, I get it. Yeah. You, you know was in a yeah. compromising yeah. position. Yeah. So that's what was going on, man. I don't, yeah. knock, I don't knock that, though. That's because yeah. we got to do what we got to do. Yeah. When we got to do it. And nobody understands that because everybody got has a, has a choice and decision to make. You got kids, right. you got family. You did what you had to do. 
Yeah, that's all. That's all. Nobody, you ain't that's all it is. Yeah, about. Do what you have to do. It is what it is. Yeah, so, yeah you know, but listen, I'm not making excuses. It was some fucked up shit on that show that, you know, if I could turn back the hands of time and do it again, I, I would. You but know? I tell you what, though. I, I Tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like because you, like, known as, like, the big cheater, yeah. right? Like, a, the villain, Beast right? Big cheater. <laughs> I feel like that was that was probably part of the reason, like, the uh, cheaters probably approached you. Oh, absolutely. It was the, them, yeah. the brand. The, the, uh, the host died, Clark Gable, died of an overdose, 31 Whoa. years old. Mm. And um, Damn. my man Ken, Ken, uh, Ken Hamilton saw it and sent them an email. Yo, you know what would be funny? If, if Peter Guns was your host. I work with him, I'm managing him. Old uh, Bobby Goldstein went to his office and he said, hey, they they mentioned some guy named Peter Guns being the host, and he said his whole office went crazy. Wow. If you could get him, lock him in. So he flew me to Dallas. We went to dinner, hit it off, and he was like, job is yours if you want it. So I well, but that money was better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, more than that, the control. But, you know, so, but it also comes with guns, man. Oh, you a cheater. You, you know, everybody had guns. Oh, yeah. I go yeah, now you're keeping it going. Like. But I tell niggas all the time, you know, basketball players retire and they, they go on ESPN and they, and they analysts. Right. I'm a retired cheater, I'm an analyst. That's <laughs> funny. You're an analyst. I like that. Yeah. I'm just saying. But these are crazy on the show too. You still suit, suit up sometimes? Every now and then I'm backsliding. <laughs> <laughs> he said no, he's still suit up. They call, they, suit up they call me out on every episode. You just don't see it, they don't show it. Every nigga's like, not you, though. Come on. <laughs> not you. How you gonna be? Yo, bro, this is about you. I did my dirt. It's cheaters, bro. They all react the same so, way, though. So, like, oh listen, my God. This is keeping it real on my on some brother shit. Like, I only know when we show up. I'm like, oh, I don't know if they being real, but some of them shits be, you know, I caught a I caught a fight with a dude. I got into an argument with another dude like three times on the show. Where it was like, you know, you could tell when it's real and when it's not. And those real ones become. I was trying to talk the brother down from hitting this girl. And uh, I was like, bro, it's not going to be a good look for my TV. Like, don't do it. So and his girl was she. Yeah, with a, with, a, with a friend, with another girl. But oh, she, that's not that bad. she pulls to the side. <laughs> for you, bad? for you. How's that? She I, said, this nigga broke my ribs. Oh. Oh, so he's abusive. So she sat down on the side. So then I walked to him and said, yo, my man. As we walk into the room, can you put your hands on the girl? Put my hands on niggas too. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's where things get a little technical. They all saw that guns for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that was when they wanted to fight you, right? Yeah. So yeah, I see. said so I say all the time, I say, you know, look, bro, they they warn me already about fighting, but all you gotta do is bust a move with me. Bust some money. <laughs> and nigga, you know, oh I shoot niggas, I uh, get that truck. You just said you fight niggas, you the fuck with truck. <laughs> Sucker. So that wow. type of shit happens. You know, so the realness comes out, and of course they call me in guns, slow down with the instigating and fighting, please. I'm like, y'all told me, y'all gave me the keys, said, do right. me, I'm doing me. Right. And it worked, the ratings is up, and I gotta go shoot 22 more episodes of that next week. So you live in, you live, you live out Texas? Yeah, so I'm between, of course, you know, New York is home, but between Dallas and New York, but I fell in love with Dallas, man, I love it. Yeah. Still about that. Love it. Definitely. Yeah, so I'm out there. I'm, um, I haven't permanently, you know, I haven't gotten a house or bought anything yet. I'm still renting, but at some point, I think I'm going to buy a crib. So you're going to be living alone? For now. <laughs> the way you ask that question is that. For now. You got to watch the show. You got to watch the show. The show will tell you what she's asking for a friend. Oh, <laughs> she didn't say that. She said she understands. She and That's all right. <laughs> That's how you got all of them. Uh, that's the move. That's that move. No, no, nobody. Yo, that, like it that. may start like that, but eventually you, that shit. Is. I've done that too. I've, I've like had a situation where I'm like, yo, do you want to me? Then I'm like, what? You going with? Nah, I'm doing that. You know, you could you start catching feelings for even even the ones that you ain't supposed to be like that. With. That happened to me before. You never know. You never know. Can't can't help it, right? Story, no, story of her life. You can't. That's, no, that's the story of her life. Story of her life. <laughs> story of her life. <laughs> you know, it. it is what it is. You're not here catching feelings, you know? It is what it is. Catching feelings? Ooh. Who? You know how I'm here catching feelings? No. You haven't caught feelings this summer? She's no. catching flights. It's been a long summer. It's been a long summer. It's been a long summer. And I'm chilling. 
And yeah. I heard you watch the villains. You heard that? that? That that'll be the next episode. Okay, next episode. Next episode. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get cold out there. Yeah. You better get some yeah. cold. Need a cuddle buddy. Yeah. 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 Need a yeah. cuddle buddy. What what's next though, bro? What what you got on? So the CL next? Smooth, uh, the R couple. We doing a uh, project called the R couple. Me and CL Smooth. Mm-hmm. Uh, the show, of course. Um, happily after, happily ever after. You know that show you know, on BET. And then, More reality uh, TV? Cheetahs. Yeah, if if they keep if they if they keep Yeah. It was also a marriage no bags up like on the marriage boot camp too, yeah. You're in the circuit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so do you feel like now <laughs> and this, at this point with the experience that you've had that you can navigate and create your own story now instead of following their protocol? Well on, yeah, only show I feel that way is Cheetahs. I feel like Cheetahs like I have a lot of control, like at the look at the scene. I'm the host, so I really gotta be in the shit. Still, you know, I don't know what you're going to get on this BET show. It goes left. So until I see this, I won't know, you know, reality shows play different. You know, like me and you could be sitting here and you could say, hey, you know, I'm working on a new album. Right. And I call that still. We could be talking about some other shit. And somebody mentioned Donald Trump and I make a face. They take that face when you say you make an album and put it there like this. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know until I see what the fuck they did. Right. If, right. if, you know. Because if you're not an executive producer, you can't go on the post and see the shit before they put it out. So I don't know. But all I can say is this show felt good. It felt like the realest show I've ever done. They would never let try to make a choice for me and the women I picked. They didn't tell me how to be. They just, it just went. And it was the realest show I've ever done. I got to give them credit for that. Any more members of the Creep Squad on there? No. Nah, nah, just just me and uh, you know a couple new dudes. You might just do Mike, Mike from 95 South. He, uh, you know, come on, ride that train. And he, yeah. Tipsy Roll, he on there. <laughs> Jeremy Meeks. Those are the only two dudes that you might know. Shout out to about, my man, about, Troy, Justin, and Uber. What about y'all, y'all still? The Crew Squad, though. It was you? Squad, me, Cisco, Self. Self. Yeah. And Rich Dallas. I forgot yeah, Self was in it. Yeah, Self ain't been around in it, but he's still in it. Self. Yeah, Self. Crew Squad. Wow. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> I tried to get out the Cree Squad, but people keep pulling me. They be like, Cree Squad. And I feel like Rich gonna pull you. Cisco. You Cisco had a, a box. I fuck Cisco up. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn. I had to. Sorry, oh, oh, Brooklyn. I had to. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what, what you mean? <laughs> Where we go? That's all you was talking about, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. I'm saying, don't try, don't try playing Brooklyn now. Hold on. Y'all, y'all had a fight on the show. Celebrity box. No, no. Before that, yeah. you had a fight. Yeah. On the show. On. We didn't fight. We, it was going there, they broke it up. You know how they break it up. Right. So then you get a nigga, and then, you know, we had the little wrestling match, but you get, give me three minutes of not being my man, because you really be bullying, and you know, he he, he grabbed Rich up, he, him himself, he, so then when he started the shit with me, I'm like, nah, we need a real three minutes. Wow. We need a real, so how you want to do it? Let's get in and put the gloves on. Show the kids we can put the gloves on. And you fucked them up. I'll beat the shit out there. <laughs> Is that footage? Yeah, go look at it. Of course, we had to, it was in um, we we fought in the you know, that was a nice little bag too. We fought in um, in Atlantic City, so we had to wear headgear. But it's still you be the judge. Okay. Go watch. Did you? Yep, three rounds. Three rounds. Then I fought one more after that. Fuck myself up. My knee, my wrist. I'll never box again in life. Ever, ever, ever. So you fought somebody else? After that. Yeah, Ooh, man. Who was that? Some dude. That some some. A boxer. YouTube, TikTok dude talking crazy. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll go in there and get this bag real quick. Didn't work out. Nah, I fucked up. They, they wrapped my hands real tight and then I made them loosen them up because mm. it was hurting my hands. Well, so I although should... I knocked them out in the first round, right. yeah. I, I hyper extended my knee and fucked my wrist up. And this, we talking about a year ago and I'm still not ready. Mm. Mm. Uh, the uh, ligaments and my knee. Oh, my mother's my mother's like fifty three years old. You, 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 you good? You and uh, Cisco good now? That's my brother, man. That's why the, the fight for me, the biggest thing for that, we wasn't rocking at the time. Was to show the kids that you could just put the gloves on and figure it out, and then go get a drink and hug up and be like, "Nigga, we good." You know, you ain't gotta always go get the fucking ham or or go crazy. You know what I mean? So that's what it was for me and. He's one of my very best friends. He's godfather to my son. Mm, that's love. Just the bully shit, man. Like, nigga, that shit might work with Rich now, but I'm fucking, I'm gonna fuck you up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the old shit fool you, B. I was fighting for a long time. <laughs> he got in there and learned the hard way. Because he like six, five, 
You learned the hard way. <laughs> You'll see. I got running this shit. I gotta I run that. You, I told you. I gotta run that footage, man. Yeah, man. One common thread I feel like you have in all your stories, though, is the whole thought of like, I didn't really think of what was gonna happen next, right? With yeah. The music, yeah. With the with the reality show, with the box. That's the story of my life, though. So, but what about now? Do you feel like you're thinking better? You, what are you doing? No, with this reality money, like. Let me tell you the story, right? So, the joke in my family is I. They be like, Peter says he lives in Never Never Land, Disneyland. Because to me, I watched my mother be depressed, damn near her whole life. Kids, old, you know, my brother's drugging, all type of shit. I always said, fuck that, it's gonna work, it's gonna figure it out, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I lived like that my whole life. Right. It'll work out of pain, I will see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. Going in it. And although it may not be the advice I would give anybody, like, nigga, save you some money, figure shit out. You know what I mean? Shit, I, you know, I got a. Only thing that. That's tangible right now for my kids when I die is my life insurance policy. I ain't leaving a whole bunch of millions back for nobody. It ain't happened yet. I'm still working on that. But right now, <clears throat> it's shit. As a matter of fact, y'all see a nigga do a GoFund for me if I leave, don't send no money. My <laughs> shit, I'm good man. <laughs> but you know, s certain shit like that is is um you wanna leave something for the kids. At least a head start. And that's all I focus on. Leave them a little head start, but other than that, I live life. I'm still not right with that, but I think stressing that shit it brings you more stress than not worrying about that type of shit. I don't chase that particular part of it, but I try to be responsible in terms of leave something for the kids. But as far as me, I still do what the fuck I want. That's, I mean, that's really all you Midlife crisis shit now. I'm about to buy a Corvette that I shouldn't be getting. Why not? Why not? Why not? It's hard getting in and out that month with my name. <laughs> Midlife <laughs> crisis. Yeah. Go. And you don't heal like you used to. No, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing. So I do what the fuck I want. Man, you only live once. That's right. And, and I always wanted a Corvette from a kid, so I'm buying you a Corvette. And you've been down long enough, so why not? You gotta treat yourself. Man, we yeah. only gonna live here. We only gonna do this one time. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. That's not it. That's mm -hmm. not it. That's not it. You did enough cheating. Man. <laughs> man, I did, did enough Ooh, cheating. I, did enough cheat. I said, yeah. don't cheat yourself. Yeah. You did enough cheating. Like, oh, it was a bar. It was a bar. So. <laughs> you definitely don't cheat yourself. It's true. I told you. You cheat everybody else. You definitely don't cheat yourself. I told that shit to Ayala. How you say her name? Ayala. Ayala. Oh, you, you went on her show? I did the my life. Oh, no. <laughs> she, came on, she came on another show. And she said. Nah, I'm scared of that one, dude. Oh my God! She's serious. I love her. I'm yeah, she's serious. Dmx told me not to do your shit. He did. Told yeah. Me but Dmx was crazy. crazy. Me and her, the bitch. Me and her clicked off though. Yeah. We ended up, we ended up cause she she turned out to be cool. But she was like, "Have you ever been faithful in anything?" I was like, "Nah, never." She went in. She couldn't believe that shit. She was like, "Never." I said, "Never." Never. Yeah. Never. Nah. Never. Like anything. No, no. Why not? Because he's single. Like that's to me. Just that's bad. what my mother said. He won his cake, and he, he boom. He wants. He See, wants the relationship. relationship I'm, right. This is how I used to think. I'm not here anymore, ladies. Don't start bashing. I'm doing a lot better. But if you, if I was to tell you, look, I'm just want to be single and do me. That means you got the green light to do that too. How about yo, you, he about, is something. I'm keeping it real, so I gotta tell you, yo, look, how about you tell her? This about us. How about you tell her? <laughs> Let's not put titles on things. Let's enjoy each other. Enjoy each other's time. Right. Let's not. Let's not put these titles because what comes with titles becomes comes with expectation, right? That's so right. now, if I say I'm your man, you my woman, now I gotta live up to the expectation of being your man. I gotta live by that standard. So how about we? Don't do that. How about we enjoy our time, do things, do things for each other, mm -hmm. hang out, you know, respect, and we don't get into all of them. How, how, why you don't say that? I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on, real quick. Well, how does that work out for you? <laughs> Extremely well. No, it does not. I'm gonna tell you why <laughs> this don't work out. I tried that. <laughs> The problem with it is, it's going to always be a dude in the wing that's like going to want to give her that title that she wants. He, oh, that you be trying to keep okay. people. You're like hoarding that year. You're hoarding women. Yes. Yeah. You're hoarding women. They're all mine. He's yeah. the one hoarder. <laughs> you can't have them. Uh, uh, mine's his mine. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. 
So you come up with something else nigga. up there. You come up with another nigga. Um, I'm saying it all depends on how how I feel about the said person. Now, what I want, I don't want to. What I don't want to do is create a situation where it's like I tell them straight up. Let's not create a situation of expectation that I'm gonna probably fail at. I don't right. want. I don't want. I don't want to get into this. I'm my. I'm yours. You mine. And then now you're looking at me or you're hearing things. I woke up in the shame room or whatever that happened. And then I'm caught up in some nonsense. And then you're looking at me like I'm crazy because yeah. I didn't portray the image. I don't want to portray no image to you. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to be something that I'm not. But I don't want to pretend. Hold on, man. Call her up. Mm -hmm. Call her up. It's Friday night. It's late mm -hmm. night. You like fucking me? See what she's doing? Right. Um, I'm hanging out with uh. Born tonight. Born. 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 <laughs> ain't, ain't no more borns, man. Borns is old. Man. Uh, just, 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 just ain't no more justice. The <laughs> old niggas. You know what I'm saying, yeah. man? Daryl, nigga. Daryl. Is it Daryl? Yeah. Yeah. Mike, Mike. I know like the last <laughs> black Peter. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. 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 If that happens, it's like you gonna be like, oh, I ain't gonna hit me tomorrow. Don't dance around it. Yeah. How would you? Act? Hip, I go back, back to what I'm saying. If I, if I, if I'm an extreme like. That I'm not gonna like that. Oh, she won't know you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. know when I'm in extreme life. No, I said she, she won't not know. know that you went straight. Ain't no like, title, so she keep it at home. I'm gonna fuck with my homie tonight. Listen, I'm gonna hit him off. And he's not, I, never gonna call her again. And then he gonna hurt her. It depends on how I'm feeling, is what I'm telling you. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm really like, like, good night, I'm really like her, then I'm not gonna like that. Now, if it's, if we just talking and hanging out and all that, it's cool, dude. What you do? I think you're doing it anyway. Are you going to hit a back? That makes though? sense. Huh? Are you, and she be honest with you like that, are you going to hit a back? That's happened before, yes. I just, I get Does so that make I, yes. The difference Does is, that make you like anybody that I'm like that with, I'm like that with. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't no can't, be like, can't be like that with everybody. You just all the way with each one. Can't be like that with everybody. I am. His she name was Peter Love. So, mm -hmm. Peter Love. He's a so you like every, you love everybody. Not love them, but yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> It ain't a bunch of them. Love women. If I spend that type of time with you or that we on that type of time, we like that. See, you saying just some arbitrary, right? I'm saying I'm I'm like I'm not like that with everybody. I don't get like that you with everybody. Ask, you ask anybody around me, they say, yo, Pete, if he if he's with somebody like that, even if it's two or whatever it might be, it's like that. <laughs> so how about I'll be more jealous. Than two? Yeah. yeah, it's been more than two. And you just like that with everybody. Listen, man, there was, was a time. There was a time when the show was mm -hmm. on. I used to be like, damn, they mad at me. What if they knew everything? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What if they knew my whole shit? Damn. Like they mad at me for this. Women gonna always find out though. It's not about you talking about the, the fans. What if they knew that? What if they knew that he had other things? Because at, at this point, if you're dating you, you know what you, what it comes with. Well, now, now, see, this the problem is you get to a certain like I said when I say all. Well, I never met a man. You get to a certain age where you know enough. enough. I got grown kids now. That's like you know what I mean. Knock it off, man. like so. At this point in time, I'm I'm way better than I used to be. But some women would be like, nigga, you wait till you're in your fifties to, to be this way. I needed you to be this way a long time. See, I don't think it's got nothing to do with time or age. Like I think that it is like we all you all who you are, right? So every everybody's journey is different. So you mean to tell me, y'all dating the men? Would you? Do you respect honesty, or do you, or you rather be sold the drink? And what honesty. I mean, what I mean by that is, it goes back to what I said. Listen, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a committed relationship, but I do want to deal with you. I do want to, want to, want to have a relationship with you, right? And I'm, I'm telling you right now, certain things I may struggle with. I'm being honest with you. I may fail at that. Would you respect that and still choose to deal with a person that tells you that? Yeah, you give me a choice. There you go. What, how about Yo, you? No, I agree. How about you? Hold on, man. I agree. Nobody's doubting that what you're saying is right. silly, right? Right. And nobody's doubting that they wouldn't accept that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying is, am I going to be able to accept her when she say, okay, nigga? <laughs> so what do you say? No, this time's different. Like, no, huh? I know how you are. No, this time's different every time you meet a girl. What? Every time you meet a girl, so, she's like, I know how you are. Nah, I, I always say, so now I've been more honest now than I've ever been in my life. Mm -hmm. I used to be like, mm -hmm. a habitual fucking cheating liar. Now it's more like, nah, this is what it is. And this, I'm, I'm, you know, look, I'm not going to sell your dream. That's right. I live like this for a fucking half century. It's, mm -hmm. I'm trying. That's right. But I'm just, this, this, I'm mostly on some chill shit. I'd rather chill, watch, I don't want to even give nobody room to say I did anything. 
no, at this age. So I'm better than I used to be. But there was a time. Yeah, yeah. Tell you, yeah, no, you know, I got that out of my system. I did all that already. <laughs> and it was cat. It was cat. And that's what I'm talking about. A lot of times, women they they want the lie. They want to be lied. They 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 they, they, they know it's an illusion. Right, you too. Don't it gives them hope. No, I'm just asking. This I've got cheated on before, just so y'all know. And that shit, I lost weight. I was fucked Ooh. up. That's how a lot. Of I got to taste some of my own medicine, and I did not like it. You like it? I'm a person that's gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, but I ain't gonna cheat. Oh, so you tip for tat? I'm not tip for tat, but you gonna feel. I'm gonna get my lip back. Oh, it, it, I'm not gonna cheat. I don't believe in Ooh. doing the same thing. Say that. Because <laughs> I don't believe in doing the same thing. And I didn't catch to get you back. Told. I'm not gonna degrade myself mm -hmm. just to prove my point. I'm gonna get my back. You didn't catch I feel like this I in the way that he said it, where told. it's like, I already you. think you're doing I'm that. I'm never know to the day. Told. Told. told you. Yeah, I'm that person. <laughs> like, by the way, I cheated on you. Nah, we just had a long, open conversation. She said, yeah. With two niggas. At the same time. You thought you thought Love and Hip Hop was starring you? Me. <laughs> well, thank you so so much. Thank you. We appreciate having you. Ah, uh, I love it, man. Really it's was family. A I love being here. <laughs> this guy got go to Cheetahs Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. probably should be the Cheetahs Anonymous. <laughs> yeah, shit. I mean, shit. They do it. They have third. Because it sounds like an addiction a little bit. You know what's crazy? It's, it's more normal. Your man probably cheating on you. No, no, no. Oh, wow. It's more normal. I did. And he's not cheating. He's not watching the show. Exactly. Hey, baby. When when I, people I, see me in the streets and go, guns, I got the same thing going on. Yeah. I can't talk about me. But that's why I, I had to turn the TV off. Because so I got the same thing going on. Yeah. And that's why I don't see how we make it so. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't. Loyalty, all of that. That's like being deceitful. All of that. It's a part of like you. You definitely should be held accountable for your actions. All of that, you should be held accountable. But there's so many other things that we can be putting on a pedestal. Freaking trauma, all of this, all of these things, trust, honesty, all of these things that people need to work on within a relationship besides if they cheat. Sometimes people literally self-sabotage going into it because they think all men cheat. So you already going into it thinking that he's gonna cheat on you, so you're gonna look for it, and then when he do it, you're gonna say that's a deal breaker. That don't make sense to me. Mm. But that's the I think mm. you fellas got to do a better job because I'm guilty of this. Just letting it reach the person you love, letting that shit come home. If everybody's yeah, like just selling truth outside the house, if everybody's just selling truth, then we'd be in a better place, right? That's cool. Then he's learning. He so said. I'm just telling. I'm, I'm telling you. Listen. You want to cool, date me? Ain't no, I'm dating other people. I'm telling you, you that right now. You think man, I'm going to be cool with him? All right, that's cute. Cool. And so am I. And I'm that's cool it. with whatever. Whatever you could do, I could do. I'm cool with whatever. Better. I don't believe you. I'm cool with whatever. You a liar? <laughs> Kitchen talk. You know that's crazy. The girl got to come home there. I'm going to get in the shower real quick. I just finished y'all um, jumping up and down on Jamal. <laughs> Put the TV on. Oh, on Jamal. Had it in and all around my mouth. Yo, <laughs> you want something to eat? I like to, I like to make it vivid because people don't think know. about that part. Oh, I, that, I do that with my I hands. Want to see, here's the time. thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Uh -oh. I've, been, I've, been, I've been outside <laughs> and been at the and around things for so long that I'm already kind of immune. You, it's not that I'm immune. I'm already feeling like that could possibly be going on. And then you're going to kiss on the mouth. Ooh. That's God. What, here's the thing with that. <laughs> right? That was rough. You got it. Yeah, that was really graphic. <laughs> and you, it, that was a little fucking blow. That was low. Yeah, you going to think about it all the time. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. I like a little shield every now and then. Woo, that was bad. Man, no kisses everybody. No, me. that's not true. I'm sure. Um, you Listen, just talked to podcast. I'm sure it happened to me before my karma is that bad. I'm sure yeah, it happened. happened. Yes, it happened, man. I told times you in the club and you just... Nasty. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Hey, Guns, man, thank you for coming. Come on, man. Bro. Love you, man. Appreciate you, you know that. You thank brother. you so much. Thank for you. real, man. And you know what it is. It's Kitchen Talk. It's your boy, Mano, the lobby boy. Holla, Mariah. Thank you, favorite time, boy. And free Ricky. Till next time. I believe though, man, I, I want you to break bread with me. You know how we do. We, this kitchen talk for real. We really eating, man. I love it. And uh, Pearls Monroe, uh, you know, she always got something yeah. nice for us. Smelling good, smelling yeah. good. Yeah. What we got here? Yeah. Oh. Yes, Pearl. Yes. Out to wow. yourself. Wow. Why would you do this? It looks amazing. I thought you was on the diet. I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too. Only on kitchen talk, though. <laughs> Shrimp and grits. Can't lose with this. Thank you, Amazing. Thank you for I'm from New Orleans, just take a quick. <laughs> no. Hey.
Hey, simple. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You know what it is? Kitchen talk. Till next time, we gonna get it. <laughs>